Today I will make mixed veg pizza with Pillsbury ready to bake canned pizza crust dough and frozen vegetables. It is healthy, delicious and quick to make. It is excellent for feeding vegetables to all people particularly the kids. This dough comes in a rectangular shape. In this video I will show how to make round pizzas with a rectangular dough. I have also given an Indian twist to this recipe so this video is going to be interesting. I'm Renita, welcome to my channel. If you like this video then please share, comment and hit the like and subscribe icons. Please press the ringing bell icon to be notified when I release a new video and stay connected to me. It means a lot to me. If you have any query, please write in the comment box. I read all comments and answer to everyone. Here is a list of the ingredients used. It serves 2 to 4 people. Let's begin. In a microwavable bowl, I had taken frozen cauliflower, 5 to 6 pieces or about a 3 fourth cup. Frozen carrot, 10 round pieces. Frozen yellow corn, 1 fourth cup. Salt, 1 fourth teaspoon. Frozen peas, 1 third cup. And water, 1 cup. I microwaved these vegetables for 15 minutes. If the veggies are thawed, then 10 minutes is okay as they will be baked as well. After 15 minutes, the veggies were nearly done. I had strained water and kept it aside. I have heated ghee 3 teaspoon in a cast iron korai because I like the essence of ghee. You can also add any oil of your choice. I added cumin 1 teaspoon sauteed it in medium heat till golden brown then I added strained to boiled vegetables I also added chopped green chili one piece I sauteed in medium to high heat for two to three minutes I added ghee 2 teaspoon again so 5 teaspoon in total. I then added frozen white onion 2 third cup. I sauteed in medium to high heat for 2 to 3 minutes again. We can add onion directly to the pizza without sauteing it. Then I kept it aside to cool down. I have taken Pillsbury pizza crust one can. I had transferred it from the freezer to the refrigerator overnight so that it thaws quickly. Then in the day of making the pizza, I kept it in the room temperature for one and a half hours for thawing thoroughly. I opened the can and took out the rolled dough. Please refer to my previous videos on Pillsbury canned doughs for detailed instructions. I sprinkled all purpose flour as per requirement on the sheet and rolled out the dough on it so that it doesn't get stuck in the sheet. I made the sheet into a round dough and kneaded it well for a good 2-3 to three minutes to make it smooth. Add some all-purpose flour whenever necessary to stop it from sticking to the sheet. And with a rolling pin, gave the dough ball a round shape. I made it as big and thin as possible but not very thin. We can also make two small pieces from this dough. Since I used this 12 inch non-steak pizza tray to bake the pizza, I brushed it with melted ghee and transferred the dough to it. I then spread it outward with my fingers. The dough is like an elastic which tends to shrink back. We can make the dough bigger as well. 
We need to push the dough outward all the time. I want a thick crust so it is small. It can be pulled up to 12 inch diameter. I gave it a decent round shape with my fingers and hands. If there are any holes in it, then I just pinch the dough to seal it. I coated the pizza dough with pizza sauce one third cup. I added shredded parmesan and romano cheese one fourth cup. Mild shredded cheese one fourth cup. And mozzarella cheese one fourth cup. I then added cooked vegetables 1 cup. I distributed them throughout the pizza. I added ready to use styled fried pepper half cup. This packet also has styled onions. It is already styled so I did not stir along with the other vegetables. Last but not the least I garnished with canned olive 12 pieces. I had preheated the oven for 20 minutes at 350 degree Fahrenheit for 20 minutes before preparing the pizza. I placed the baking tray at the middle of the preheated oven and baked it at 300 degree Fahrenheit at convection mode for 30 minutes total time. As we can see it is beautifully baked. After 30 minutes, I took out the pizza and placed it in the room temperature for 7 to 8 minutes to cool down. I garnished it with oregano leaves as per taste and chili flakes as per taste. Tomato ketchup can also be added. This is how pizzas are served in India by Domino's and the Pizza Hut. With the pizza cutter. I cut the pizza into 6 to 8 slices. I had it with some tea. Please make it at home and tell me in the comment box how it was. If you like this video then please share, comment and hit the like and subscribe icons. Please press the ringing bell icon otherwise you will not get notified when I release a video. I will be back with another video. Bye.